Hey, you got Fox here. This is part two in my Madden 17 Franchise Mode Blows series, where we're going to go through a game that EA created eight years ago, NFL Head Coach 09. There's a lot of features we got to get through, so let's go through quick. Look at this depth. The personality guru. Promoter for Mike Tomlin here. Roster talent strong. Um, we can create a new coach here. The GM skill will still stay, stay similar. Here's a coach editor, but that's in Madden, so big deal. But it's about, like, you know, uh, here are the different... Styles you can do the guru, the lone wolf, the ambassador. Here, like the depth to this franchise mode, the RPG element where you can build this guy up is coming up. But like, there's plenty of different personalities you can put in your guy, and that's what Madden franchise mode needs personality. Uh, here we go into edit skills. You got skills and special skills that we can go to. I tried to take the ugliest dude I could find. Um, so you could get team chemistry, physical development. You can run through all these things as we fly through them very quickly. Um, I sped this up as we uh, just went through and put in skill points, but this is really what we need. The depth of mode that wants us coming back for more to grind out more skill points for our guys for the franchise mode. See if we're really building something. This next thing, offensive and defense coordinator skill. Uh, this offensive playbook, Steelers smash mouth, the LeBeau zone blitz. They have descriptors to give more flavor than just Steelers playbook like we got men. The words and themes around them mean more, and even though it's just really fluff, it has the experience of you having a style that's separate from the rest of the league. Like, old school Pittsburgh smashes the ball down your throat before, you know, recent Roethlisberger and Antonio Brown developments. Look at the season in the background. We shifted. When I chose to start in the preseason, uh, it's February now. The background shifted to snow. Like, it's these minor things that really add up. I gotta keep saying that. Fundamentally, I think the man designers just don't understand why people like franchise mode. Their improvements this year are almost all gameplay focused. For people that love franchise, they like the minutia of running a front office, the day-to-day tasks. It's all, it isn't all just window dressing around the on-the-field gameplay, uh, which is how it kind of feels now with the Madden's focusing on. The game around the game should feel just as deep as the one on the field. It's the little things that are put together that form the big picture that is franchise mode. For example, here in NFL Head Coach 09, if you look in the upper right corner, the clock's always moving on you. It's like Majora's Mask with the ever-present looming moon before the draft or the preseason or a game against the Patriots. This innovative method simulates real life this way. The clock is always ticking on you. There's never enough time in the day to truly feel like you have everything mastered. Guys will go into games not knowing plays like we go into tests not prepared. You just have to hope you get lucky and the guys in the field don't screw up enough to cost you the win. Like what happens too frequently in the NFL with blown coverages and whatnot. Like this drafting right here. Chris Long, future talent looking Jake Long here. Chris Samuels is his NFL comparison. Like... Darren McFadden, okay, next Adrian Adrian Peterson. Sure, at the time, maybe that was true, but not. we realize after the fact that's not true. But you, you see this all the time in the NFL draft. Okay, this guy's the next Peyton Manning. Nobody's the next Peyton Manning. But just for example, like you see this all the time in the NFL draft. It's those little things, again, that I'm going to talk about over and over. These little things all add up to a great franchise mode. But, I mean, like the size-speed ratio on Jonathan Stewart. But I'm not going to knock the Madden's drafting software too bad. It's actually not too... Um, problematic i like their drafting software so that's something i can't really give them too much crap on um here is basically comparing your team to free agents for those who kind of watched the nfl back then these guys these names might be blast from the past mary and barbara willie parker uh sean alexander of course you all will recognize that name but madden is bringing about how easy it is to compare free agents to the roster this year here's how nfl head coach did it i still think it can be done better than this. We'll see how Madden 17 looks. I mean, look, just look at fantasy football sites. Those offer a good way of ranking your players against the free agents. What I'm saying is there's many ways of doing this. I mean, look at look, look at these blasts from the past. Randy Moss and uh, Isaac Bruce, those would be pretty sweet pickups. You know, legends of the game. As we uh, just move on to the next thing, you know, NFL 2K series. Here's, here's a nice little chart to graph your salary cap room um, going to the next year. Just kind of really a convenient way of seeing things. Madden's isn't too bad throwing salary cap status and that kind of stuff. Um, the, the team needs, again, is something, a feature in Madden. They've had that in the past. This is the, the view playbook knowledge. This is what I was talking about earlier with players learning and unlearning plays. So if you go into a play, you'll see how many guys know the play, the knowledge of the play, or they don't know the play. So they, they have a better chance of screwing up. And they will have different um, knowledge levels. Like the knowledge will be like 60, 70%. Um, like So different guys will learn it, unlearn it on your roster as we, we go through these things and take a look at the plays. But um, here's free agent bidding how this game did it. 
basically you all raise a bid all the teams interested there's 11 10 9 8 teams are dropping out like flies as the money goes up and up and i'm going to sign asante samuel heel age 26 he's still pretty decent in the league um uh, he's he's good at this time of his career of course but six teams so i'm going to sign it just we keep bidding you raise the bid it's kind of like, like an ebay auction almost way of doing this you know, man's not terrible free agent. I, I did not like NFL head coaches 09's free agent system the way they did that. I think Madden actually does it better. So that's one thing I will give credit to Madden that they've done better. And then the, then you do contract talks. I, I do like that free agent bidding, but I don't like how they implement it through the whole game is what I'm trying to get at. So this is the contract negotiations. You can offer certain contract packages. This one, again, I don't know. This one got uh, – you didn't offer a ton of contracts every year. But it could get annoying bargaining back and forth. You know, your deal will fall through after 50 seconds. Again, that timer countdown. Um, in real life, you have more than 50 seconds to agree to a contract. But it's just kind of like a good innovative gaming solution in order to get things moving. Like you go offer incentives, uh, the signing bonus. Um, so this is just another way of doing it. I'm not saying man should go this way because I don't think this is the greatest, most innovative way of doing things. You know, the better deals for the team are up top. The better deals for the player at the bottom as we just keep bickering back and forth, and eventually I, I get them signed. You coach, that's still too far off. See the, the little bit of uh, back and forth. I know some other sports games, if you if you offer them the wrong contract, they're going to get too angry at you right away, and um, that also happens in this game too, but not too frequently, depending on their uh, personality, of course, they'll ask for. Now here's the trade system. Now this is kind of a unique way of doing it. Madden is kind of like guessing what they'll want. You know, there's a lot of errors in Madden. Like they under, they overvalue certain positions. You can really snake the computer. And this, it, it, it was pretty hard to draft. This is during the draft. I can offer picks to go up to the 10th overall pick right here. Um, so I can offer my second, my third, and San Antonio Holmes. So I'll try to offer higher on the list for guys I don't need. And they're going to be like, no, that's, that's a bogus pick. So it did end up being pretty tough. To trade in the game like man tries to make it tough it's easier to get around than i found but it's still pretty easy to stockpile draft picks in nfl head coach 09 all right and we're going to move on to health and fatigue a way that nfl head coach um was able to show you like um, practices there's daily practice that you can put these guys through to put them through certain tests um they show you the fatigue level and here's the game plan for those practices uh you can either train the rookie improve defensive play knowledge we'll go through that um there's no boost play here you got the chance to stop player. This is what I'm excited for in Madden 17. You have those game plans um, that, they've, that they've talked about. And that's what I, I think one of the most things I'm, I'm really big excited about. So there there we just had the two hours of practice. So we go to the practice recap. And, and we went from Masters 8% to 28%. So guys learn to play better after practicing it, which makes a lot of sense. Here's something in-game. Um, you know, Madden obviously in-game is much better than NFL head coach 09. Leaps and bounds, not even in the same category. Uh, but there's one thing I do like. You can select a player. You can edit the play during the game. So you can create a play. You can move players around, uh, change their assignments. It's kind of just a neat little thing that I, I wouldn't think possible. But well, head coach put an N9. Maybe it was the engine made it easier. But you can reassign these guys, you know, on the fly in Madden. This is only a single player thing that would be, because this would be terrible in online, of course. But this would, or multiplayer, this would be the only single player franchise mode thing. Move guys around, see if you could try and stuff something like, I. it would be a pretty easy way to get some nanos off if you know how to run some nanos. And if you basically, I, I end up overloading one side on this blitz. But when you like select on guys, you can put them into like slants, uh, down, you can move them one way or other on this, on this grid. So Hampton moves over, basically I'm, I'm doing an overload left. Um, you can do the depth chart, line moves. You can do them into zone coverage, a QB spy. You can do a defensive lineman, a man coverage. Of course, like you can do in real life. Um, but that's it for the creative play. Let's see how my play played out in real life. The coach is half. The knowledge is actually half known because I moved the players around. But it looks like we tried to overload a side, and we got the six-man blitz, and we, get, we were able to stop them in the backfield. Then we could keep creative play as a part of our playbook. So, yes, see that overload left and then a corner off the edge wide to help us. So, that's now in our playbook. As a playbook, we, play we just added to our playbook, customized. Here on offense, we're doing the same thing, customized plays, something that man's taken out, you know, because you can do a lot of cheesy stuff. And I don't suggest this, again, like I said, for online. But let me know if you guys uh, like this video, if this uh, brought a lot of help to you guys. Do you guys want to see more stuff like this in the future? 
Um, like, do you, what are your what are your expectations for franchise mode last next year? Uh, my last video got a lot of hate on it because I was pretty negative on the improvements because I called them too late, like the practice squad. Or there's a lot of bickering in the comments, but that was kind of fun to have a little bit of back and forth. Uh, there's one more feature I want to show off before we go a little bit more of a how do you say a minor feature again as I as I just play a wacky play here and you can watch it play out in real time. Um, overall, the knowledge is still high on my side because I edited a play that was already well known. Um, so let's watch it play out in real life and nothing, 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 nothing. Throw it out of bounds and we do not complete. All right, so we have a big decision here. This is something that I think is awesome. EA talked about big decisions, Madden 17. This is the kind of stuff I like to see. You know, you kick the field goal, but look at all the approval ratings. I lose 12 approval ratings from the fans. The media goes up if I go for it. So a lot of people hate playing it safe. Uh, the players want me to go for the touchdown, but uh, I ended up deciding to kick the field goal because it's a smart thing to take the points early. I lost a lot of approval ratings for that one. A lot of people went down on it. But anyways, I kicked three points, and we end up winning the game actually at the end. Spoilers. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Call to action. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you tomorrow.